Welcome to a short tutorial on Moodle, the learning management system at Elms College. To get to Moodle, just type in moodle.elms.edu. Then log in using the same username and password that you would use for your student email account. Once you log in, you'll see your list of courses on the left side and you can enter any course. This left side navigation menu um, you can toggle on and off using the menu button in the top left corner. So you can view the page without that menu or with that menu. On this main page, you'll also see some training resources and a link to online tutoring. This is only accessible through Moodle. When you click here, you go to BrainFuse where you can get free tutoring and you can even upload a paper and get feedback on it. Back to Moodle here, if you click on one of your courses, you'll see the information that your instructor has set up for that course. The course is usually organized as folders that you can open up and close. And inside the folders, you will see your activities um, for that week. One thing that you will uh, usually see are forums. So here's an introduction forum, and it's always this little green dialog box where you can just hit reply to reply to the forum to type in something, and then finally post the forum. You can get back to the main page or to the main folder that you're looking at by just clicking on the links up at the top here. Um, another thing that's really useful are your grades. If your instructor uses the online gradebook in Moodle, you can get to it from this left navigation column and see all your grades in the course and what's been graded and what hasn't. Um, some other things that you will see in a course are um, quizzes and assignments. I'm going to switch to a different course for this. So a quiz looks like a little check mark here and an assignment uh, hand turning in an assignment. Let's look at an assignment first. So with an assignment, um, let me just switch to student view. With an assignment, you click on the add submission button and then you can either type in some text or sometimes drag in and drop a file right here um, to turn it in. And then click on Save Changes to actually submit it. You may also encounter quizzes. So let's look at a quiz. So with a quiz, once you're in the quiz, you can switch to any question here and type in your answers or if it's multiple choice um, or check boxes, you would try an answer. And sometimes it's set up so that you can actually try again. So you can click on the try again button and try a different answer and check the answer. When you're ready to finish the attempt, you scroll down to the bottom and hit finish attempt. And it will show you your marks so far and you can submit all and finish it. So those are the basic features of Moodle that you can use. Um, there's also a right column here where you can see a calendar. And if you have assignments or quizzes due, um, they will be highlighted here. And you can see the participants in your course and get to um, things like quick mail, messages, upcoming events, and searches. And that's the basics of Moodle.